Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So a couple of weeks ago, I decorated for a 50th birthday party. If you haven't seen that video, I'll make sure I put a link in the description so you could check that out. For that event, I created a round balloon backdrop and I got a lot of questions on it. So in this video, I'm gonna recreate that balloon backdrop using different balloon colors to answer some of your questions. And then I'm also gonna let you know some of the things that went wrong with that event, all right? So let's get started. guys so I just finished setting up my backdrop stand I get questions from you guys on where I got this stand from so I ordered mine from Etsy years ago and unfortunately that Etsy shop is not available anymore so what I'll make sure I do is put some links to some more backdrop stands in the description of this video I know eFavormart has some you don't need this exact stand, right? You just need a round stand for this backdrop. So now what I'm gonna be doing is adding my backdrop cover to this. So this backdrop cover has elastic in it, right? So it makes it easier to add to the backdrop stand. But when I was setting up my event a couple of weeks ago, even with this elastic, in this backdrop cover, I was still having issues with getting this to stay on my backdrop stand, okay? So what I would recommend that you do is use clips to make sure that this cover stays on the stand. So I'm gonna attach my backdrop cover and then I'll zoom in to show you guys what I did. So the next time I decorate with this backdrop, I will definitely be using those clips that you guys seen on the back of this backdrop. If you don't have those clips in your inventory, you could also use safety pins, all right? And I'll make sure I put a link for everything in the description of this video. Now, a few of you guys have asked me about customizing this backdrop. 
You can get this backdrop in whatever color that you want. It's good to send them a picture of the color that you're looking for, and then they can match this backdrop to the color that you want, all right? Now, with my backdrop, unfortunately, this came in the wrong color. This is more of a standard pink, and I was looking for more of a rose pink, okay? When I reached out to the vendor and let them know that they had sent me the backdrop in the wrong color, they were great. They apologized and then they immediately went into creating a new backdrop in that rose pink color. But unfortunately, because there was an outbreak of COVID, they couldn't send it to me before my client's event. So I just had to make this color work. So I just wanna give you that heads up that if you're ordering this backdrop in a custom color, you wanna give yourself more than enough time to receive it, okay? Just in case there's issues with the color. So you wanna make sure that you're ordering this backdrop at least two to three months before your event, okay? Another person asked me if you can customize the saying that's on this backdrop. You can customize whatever you want on this backdrop cover, okay? It may cost you more to create a completely custom backdrop, but they can do whatever it is that you want. You just need to specify that when you're putting your order in, okay? So this doesn't have to say happy birthday. It could say something else. You could even specify what font that you want the saying on the backdrop to be in, okay? So when you're placing your order, all you have to let them know is what size your stand is. Also let them know what color you want this backdrop cover to be. And then if you wanna change the saying, just let them know that as well. All right, so now that the backdrop is up, I'm gonna blow up some balloons to decorate this backdrop.
So I just wanna stop here for a second and show you guys how I'm gonna attach my balloon garland to this backdrop, okay? Because a few of you guys have asked me that. So what I'm gonna use is a 260 and a safety pin, all right? So all I'm gonna do is tie my 260 in a knot Okay, and then I'm going to attach my safety pin to it. Okay, make sure that you close your safety pin because you don't want this to pop your balloons. And then all I'm going to do is put this around a balloon that's in my balloon garland and then use my safety pin to attach it to the backdrop cover. Okay, I'll zoom in so that you can see what I did. The balloon backdrop let me know in the comments what do you think how do you think this balloon backdrop came out I'm gonna let you know that I love this I think this is perfect for a girl's birthday party or a woman's birthday party right I love this backdrop I hope I answered all of your questions on how to use these round backdrop covers if you guys have more questions, please feel free to leave that in the comments as well. I actually have another one of these backdrop covers on the way to me. So if you guys have more questions, I could always do another video, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.